You don't want to be caught sticking a square peg into a round hole. Is that how the saying goes? Yeah, that's it. Hey friends, we are Matteo and Misha and we are the Global Expats. We're an international married couple who lives all over the world, even on a cruise ship. And on this travel and lifestyle channel, we share with you the best tips and tricks we learned along the way and hopefully inspire you to see new places, have awesome new experiences and just live life to the fullest. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Welcome to part two of our best Amazon travel essentials. We don't go anywhere without these items and they make traveling so much easier. In this video, we're telling you exactly what they are. We've included the links to these items in the description below. Feel free to check them out. First up, we have travel adapters. You don't want to be caught sticking a square peg into a round hole. Is that how the saying goes? Yeah, that's it. Around You've seen those Euro movies where the girl goes and plugs it into the wall and the power shuts down in the entire city or she zaps herself. You don't want to be in that position. So we definitely recommend getting a universal power adapter. We've linked it below the one that works the best all around the world. And this one, which I found super handy. So this is my American iPhone charger, it's the American plug. There's these simple ones that we've also linked down below. You don't necessarily always need the giant one. These ones will do just fine. You just plug it in like that. And that is more than enough because this kind of helps absorb the power. So. Check them out. You definitely got to get yourself a good one before you go on your trip. His and hers travel convenience kits. Convenience being the key word. This travel pouch comes with around about 20 of the most vital products that you need when traveling. This will save you time and money because going to the supermarket and finding all of these little products individually is going to take time. And I can guarantee you that'll probably cost more. So getting this beforehand saves you a lot of your effort. Who's ever arrived at their destination and found that one of your liquids has exploded inside your bag? Mine was purple shampoo. Yeah, not fun. That's why we're talking about toiletry bags. These are easy, they're convenient, they keep all of your toiletries in one spot and they have a hook. So. If you need to take it to the bathroom, you hook it up, everything's hanging right there. And when you're done, you just zip it up and toss it back in your bag. I use a backpack as hand luggage. It's easier than lugging around a duffel bag or wheeling a wheelie bag through middle aged streets. The one in particular that I have is this Thule backpack. Thule, Thule, Tully, however you want to say it. One thing's for certain, it's extremely strong. I've crammed this thing full and the zips just stay perfect it even has a pouch in the front that has a crush proof zone for your sunglasses your wallet phone i put my passport in there because i can lock it on this side it has laptop pouches netting pouches for your other products and it can hold a lot more than you think it can so i don't know if any of you have been on like eight nine ten fifteen hour flights before but you gotta get some Z's in, and this is my duo for making sure I can sleep as much as I want. They are the EarBuddy earplugs. These things are very soft. I don't know about you guys, but when I have my like iPhone headphones in for too long, they actually hurt. So, so I used to like sleep with them in, but then they started hurting the inside of my ear. So I switched to earplugs, and you basically just squeeze them get them in your ear and they expand. They actually are amazing. They're so comfy and I actually never even feel them in my ear. So got to get yourself a pair of those. And then also a little plush eye mask. My sister got me this when I was in her bridal party and it's very plush and very nice. So it's the main one I've been using, um, but it blocks out the light. You block out your ears. If there's a crying baby sitting in the row in front of you or behind you, this will definitely help you. So you got to do it. One of my biggest pet peeves is when you get onto the airplane and you ask for some water. And it comes in a little cup about this size, just enough to quench your thirst, but not enough to feed your pet chameleon. So that's why I always travel with an empty water bottle. When you go through security, you're not allowed liquid that big. So I always take an empty bottle. That way, when you get on the plane, you can ask them to fill it up for you. 
And you know, if you keep calling them, please bring a little cup, bring a little cup. Yeah, but also even when you're traveling around a city, you never know when you're gonna have access to a tap or to a store to buy a bottle of water. So make sure you grab a bottle. The one that's in our link below is pretty much indestructible and it has a wide mouth. That way you can clean it really easily, even if you have a chunky hand like mine. So that's it for our part two of our Amazon travel essentials. If you got value out of this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you later, friends.